This is how to get the best out of your crumpet. We highly recommend trying as many new and interesting combinations as possible. Firstly, pop a slice of thin bread into the base of the crumpet. Load up your fillings, making sure you're not adding lots of runny liquids, but food like cheese and cold beans are all great to use. Leave some space around the edge of the bread to allow it to seal. If food overlaps the edges, you won't get a good crimp. Add another slice of thin bread and line up the crimp at top. Now, the magic happens. Squeeze it all together and multiple times if needed. Once crimped, tap it out and check the seal. You can always pop it back in if you feel it needs another crimp. Once you're happy, pop it into the toaster to heat and keep a good eye on it. Crimpets are great out of the toaster, but if you want it extra hot inside, just give it five to 10 seconds in the microwave after the toaster. And there you have it a wonderfully constructed, delicious crimpet toasted snack. Here are a few top tips to help you get the most out of your crimpet. If your bread is slightly stale or you're struggling to get a great crimp, run a wet finger around the edge of the bread. This acts like a glue and helps to create a super strong crimp. To remove your sealed parcel from the crimpet, hold it at 45 degrees and give the base a sharp tap. The crimpet parcel will just fall out. If you're after some other creative and fun ways to cook your crimpet, you can heat it in the oven, under the grill, dry fry in a pan, or use an air fryer. We recommend experimenting to see what works best for you.